and welcome back to the organizing tip of the day. Today's tip is organizing your broom closet. If you have a broom closet, you're super lucky. If you're like me and you don't have a broom closet, you can create one using a coat hook. And that is what we did. Um, when we first moved here, we put them in our front entrance hall, all our brooms, mops, swiffers, that sort of thing. But they were always sort of falling out and creating problems. And as our family grew, we needed that space for hats, mitts, gloves flip-flops, you name it, and the closet became bursting even without brooms in it. So we had to move it, and what we opted to do, we have a ranch, so it's all on the same level. Our bedrooms are on the same level as our living room and everything. So we opted to use our bedroom space. And you can see we have an armoire here, a stand-up armoire, and right in the back you'll see there we have some brooms hanging. So what we actually did is just slide it out from the wall a few inches and installed a pretty coat hook and all of your Swiffers and brooms will all have the same top to them so they could easily hang on the hook and then there you have it. It's a little broom closet hidden away but still easy to access all of your brooms and mops. Now if you have say a big pantry in your kitchen you can slide the pantry out and put it beside that or even attach a nice coat hook right on the side so they're easily accept ex accessible. And if you don't uh, have a pantry or a spot to pull it out, hang one of those beautiful coat hooks right on the wall. There you go. Easy pantry. Easy to get to all your brooms and they're not falling all over the place. Looks neat and tidy. That's your tip of the day. You can probably see my crazy mess. I'm going to share one last tip with you um, to motivate me to do laundry. Every morning I make my bed. Every morning, no matter what, I make all my kids' beds. And I know it seems crazy. And... I don't know why, I never used to do it and I was like, but you're just crawling into it, but it really helps me sort of set the day. So I make myself make my bed every single morning. And then when I have laundry, I throw it on my nicely made bed, <laughs> as you can see. My clean laundry goes on my nicely made bed. And you're probably wondering, like, why would you do this crazy lady? Well, it motivates me to put it away. What always happens is I'll have clean laundry baskets and they'll stack up or they'll stay in my laundry room and I'll put them in the room where they need to go, but I don't put them away because they're not in the way and I'm not really looking at them. Oftentimes, sometimes even dirty clothes get thrown back on top. If you're not going to put away right away, if you don't have the time or you're like me and you just don't want to, as soon as it's dry out of the dryer, toss it on your bed, unless someone's coming over or something like that. But you're not going to go to bed at night with laundry all over your bed, so... It's just a great motivating tip, which I had to show you because I was blogging and it's on my bed. <laughs> That's your tip of the day. We'll see you next time.